What is up guys? I hope everyone is having a blessed, blessed night. So today we are going to cover Psalm 16 verses 2 through 11. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are glorious ones, in whom is all my delight. The sorrow of those will increase who run after other gods. I will not pour out their liberations of blood or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me even at night. My heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad, and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure, because you have not abandoned me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. I really like that. We're going to go ahead and highlight that. Let me just read that one more time for, for the people in the back that didn't hear me. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. I really like that a lot. You know, I that's just... That is a really powerful verse, and I, I really like Psalm 16, 8. I set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. And that verse is really strong, because it's basically saying, you know, as, as long as you put him first, then whatever you do, you know, you will be protected. And that's not to say that you can just go sin all willy-nilly, because that's, that, that's being lukewarm. We don't want to do that. But if we are doing what we are supposed to do, if we are praying every day, if we are reading our word, you know, if we're if 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 if, if we're building that that relationship and that rapport with God and with Jesus, then nothing nothing can stand in the way as long as we always place him first. And, you know, that's that's really hard because, you know, there, there are plenty of days where I want to do just what I want to do. You know, I don't want to do what God wants me to do. And as Christians, that's something we really have to work on, you know, every single day. We have to get in the habit of, okay, this is what I want to do. But every time I start something with what I want to do, it doesn't end well. But every time I place the Lord first, and I start Him, I start it with Him at the head, you know, things turn out okay. And there's, you know, there's a lot of times where I pray for something I want, and, and you know, I might not get it right away, because... If God gave you that money right away, if God gave you that business right away, if God gave you that relationship right away, you wouldn't be in the proper space mentally, physically, spiritually to handle it. That's why God does things on his time and not ours. And that's, you know, something I, I'm personally working on every day. I, I'm trying to get so much better about that. And I think... I, I really think this verse says a lot in so little words. But that's going to be it for tonight. It's 3.14 a.m. here and I just got off work. So I'm going to hit the hay. You guys have a blessed night and stay safe and I will catch you tomorrow.